what's going on everybody this is matt does fitness and i had my neck brace fitted last week since then i haven't looked back okay this is an exciting action-packed back and biceps bodybuilding workout um that i completed a few days ago now, um, I've done this a couple of times now. I've got a couple of previous body, uh, specifically bodybuilding workouts uh, that I've put up in the past. You guys seem to like them, and it's just something a little bit different, so I thought I'd make another one. I'm coming at you hard, baby. Now, this is, uh, like I said, back and biceps. Did back first, followed by biceps. So what you saw there was some bent over rows. I always think it's best to start with the heavier, kind of more... Uh, stabilizing muscle requiring movements so obviously that is a free uh, barbell exercise so therefore i'll do that first um i did three sets of 12 down to about eight relatively heavy um, i then moved over to uh the machine row uh big fan of this as is the case with all of the machines in this gym or my gym uh you can do them unilaterally so you can more pull one side at a time and you can see there all kinds of back engagement everything is getting engaged uh, that looks pretty good. Um, I did three sets of, no, actually lie, four sets of um, about 12 reps there. So working in a slightly high rep range, keeping the weight relatively low. Um, again, just focusing on engaging my back. Here, I did the same thing. So again, four sets of about 12 reps, uh, keeping the weight low because it's very easy to lift more weight, you know, like a... Stick on more weight and still do a bit of the range of motion, but not properly engage your back. So by dropping it down a little bit, being sensible, leaving your ego out of it, you can see there you can get a massive amount of back action. Um, you may have noticed as well, or you probably have noticed, I'm wearing a stringer. I never, ever, ever wear strings. This is the first time I've ever worn one in my life. Uh, Machine Fitness sent me one and I friggin' love it. I'm not a fan of stringers purely because you tend to flash your nipples. And for me, that's pretty much the weirdest thing you can do in a gym. I'd almost rather, in fact, I would definitely, or someone trained, uh, I would rather someone train topless than wore a really loose fitting string of S because it's just something weird and, I don't know, unsettling about someone with their nipples out. So this one is really fitted. So although it's kind of, you see that it's pretty skimpy, um, it's fitted so it doesn't move around it's really really comfortable i really like it and if you want to get one of these bad boys the link uh to the shop is in my description use my discount code get 10 percent off um i'm gonna get a couple more of these because i really really like them and it means that i can now start wearing stringers which is good for everyone let's face it um and like i said it's not gonna freak anyone out because it's nice and tight um here i'm doing some more rows with a kind of almost upward rows uh, so it's putting a little bit of a different uh, angle on the range of movement and i did this time i went down to three sets i went slightly heavier so working in the kind of eight to ten rep range um but again making sure i properly engage my back and that was there as for that was that as far as back went i pretty much just did a little circuit of all the machines you can see behind me there in the gym i then moved on to biceps um i did some preacher curls with a w bar um I'm a big fan of these. They obviously allow you to really isolate your biceps without any kind of cheating. And because your elbows are pushed back, you can, I don't know, and obviously the angle of it as well, you really feel like you're hitting the upper part of the, the range of movement as well. So I did four sets of 12 down to about six there. Um, I went relatively heavy. Uh, reason being, I knew I was going to move on to these cable curls, uh, whereby I was going to go a little bit lighter and just focus on engaging my biceps as much as possible. So here... Um, I was doing all kinds of stuff. So essentially, um, I was doing, I was varying from narrow grip to regular grip to wide grip, um, and then doing a series of drop sets. So in total, probably did about, I don't know, about 10 sets here, I think, with kind of different grips, um, gradually dropping the weight down to make sure I kept at least nine or 10 reps on each set. Um, this is to me, I mean, some people might disagree, but for me personally, this is pr probably my favorite bicep exercise. Doing cable curls, I really, really like it for a number of reasons. Firstly, like I said, you can you can alternate your grip and it, you know, it's easy to do. You don't have to move anything around. It's easy just, and this is from a lazy standpoint, it's easy to change the weight. You can just move the, the pin up in the, in, in the stack. So there's no messing around if you want to do drop sets, which I think are really good for biceps. And also, obviously, because it's a cable, the entire range of the movement is resisted. There's no parts where gravity takes over where it's easy so yeah i'm a big big fan of these i really really like them um if you are lagging in your bicep area i would certainly recommend them uh, you see here i'm doing wide grip one which is another really good way just to hit emphasize one head of the bicep slightly more than the other 
Um, you know, generally you're always going to hit both heads, but you can emphasize one part slightly more. And again, let's face it, that stringer looks pretty cool, right? Anyway, um, that was pretty much that, guys. I did all kinds of back and bicep action. It was a really good workout. I was pretty sore the next day, and I thought I'd share it with you because um, it's just something a little bit different. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, as always, and I'll see you tomorrow.